guys, it's your boy Nobly from Sweden and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 50 things that are better in CS2 than in CSGO. Number one, the first thing that's obvious to me is the 360 degree skin inspecting. Now you can choose whatever angle you want to see the skin from, unlike in CSGO where you can only spin the skins horizontally so you can't see the top or the bottom. Number two, Counter-Strike 2 has unbelievable graphics compared to CSGO. Maps and lighting and skins and smokes all look way better in CS2, it's not even comparable. Number 3, Counter-Strike 2 has much shorter loading screens when connecting to a match. The first few times I loaded in, I didn't even believe how fast it went. If we compare the loading screen in CSGO to CS2, while I'm just loading into an offline Dust 2, you can really see the time difference. Like, I've already been in-game in CS2 for seconds before I load in CSGO. It's ridiculous. Number four, lighting finally affects skins and stickers realistically, making skins look so much better. And speaking of skins, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins, and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus, and if you use the link in the description or put the code ANOMALY, you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to $5 for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways, which you can join for free. So if you want to try them out, then please use the link in the description. And thank you, Skins Monkey, once again for sponsoring this video. Number five, it's much easier to distinguish text in the Counter-Strike 2 console. They've also made the text color coded, so now it looks like actual code. Number six, in this new console, it's also a lot easier to find commands you're looking for with searching. For example, I want to find the command for not lowering FPS when I tab out, so I just search focus and I find it. It's super simple. Meanwhile, in CSGO, if I write focus, there's nothing, because you can't really search. You have to input the actual command letter by letter. And also in the CS2 console, you have this nice little scroll bar. Number seven. Now, it's much easier to group and search skins in your inventory because of the new groups like graphic art, patches, stickers, you can group and search whatever you want. Number eight, the next good thing about CS2 is the fact that Furious and Victor still don't have access to the beta, so there's no chance to accidentally queue into them when playing. Thank fuck. <laughs> Number nine, the instant button for the Steam market, which is far easier than having to shift tab and then opening the browser to get to the market. CSGO actually has one of these buttons, but because of the bad design, weird position, and ugly ass link symbol, I've never used it and I didn't even notice it until now. Number ten, now if you're in game in the top middle, you can see which players have diffuse kits or which player has the bomb. Number eleven, after a round in the top middle, you can see how much damage damage you've dealt to enemies and how much damage they've dealt to you, which is much easier than having to open the console to read the damages. Basically, you get a nice little recap of the last round in the top middle. Number 12, stat track counters where you haven't gotten a kill yet don't flash random numbers like they did in CSGO, but now stays at zero, which makes them a lot cleaner. Number 13, the new smokes. Well, there's a lot of good things with the new smokes. First of all, the new smokes are much more noob friendly. It's way easier to to land a smoke where you want it to land, since the new smoke now fills out areas better, so you don't even have to land the smoke perfectly. Number 14, another great thing with the CS2 smokes is that one ways are no longer possible. No more getting killed from someone who's invisible inside of a smoke, because now smokes are server-sided and 3D objects, so you can't see through them. Number 15, the new grenade camera in offline matches, which is really good for learning and finding new smokes and lighting ups, especially if you're a new player trying to learn and figure out some smokes. Number 16, the new smokes also have different colors depending on which team threw it. As you can see, one of the smokes is more blue, that was thrown by a CT, and the one that's more beige was thrown by a T. This also kind of makes Ninja diffusing more difficult, since now you can see if it was a CT that smoked the bomb. Number 17, it seems, at least for the beta, that skyboxes for grenades have been completely 
completely removed. This helps a lot with smoke lineups because now your smokes won't hit a random invisible wall anymore. Number 18. Finally, we now have a way to remove a smoke, at least temporarily. In CSGO, there's no way to move, remove, or see through a smoke, but in CS2, we can throw grenades, which makes them disappear, or we can shoot through them to get a little gap where we can see. Number 19. Counter-Strike 2 has way better visibility through Molotovs, which in CSGO was sometimes used as a one-way or almost like a smoke. As you can see, it's not this heavy black smoke, but rather just the fire, and you can easily see through it. Number 20. The new sub-tick system, which makes the game feel much smoother. Even though it's not really 128 tick, it's still a huge improvement from CSGO. Number 21. They finally fixed the screen shake when you would pull out shadow daggers. I'm not sure why this was ever in the game. I always thought it was a glitch that they were gonna fix, but they never did it, so maybe it was a feature? I don't know. At least now, if you're using shadow daggers, you can be happy because your screen won't shake and your aim won't be weird. Number 22. The in-game voice chat is extremely good. It basically sounds like you're sitting in TeamSpeak with your teammates. Just take a listen. John Pork, what country are you from? Uh, you from Russia? Oh, nice. Number 23. In Counter-Strike 2, you can now select what refresh rate you want to use along with your resolution, something not possible in CSGO. Number 24. You can finally see your own feet. I'm not sure if this is objectively a good thing, but I sure feel like for the added realism and immersion, it's definitely a plus. Number 25. It's now very clear how far your sounds travel by looking at the minimap. They definitely got this idea from Valorant, but it's very nice to have that extra added information, as well as potentially helping out deaf players who may not know if their player is making sounds. Number 26. In Counter-Strike 2, changing resolution doesn't randomly crash your game. This is something I personally feel is unacceptable in CSGO, and it's finally fixed in CS2. Also, it goes about 10 times quicker to change your resolution in CS2 than it does in CSGO. Number 27. It's very easy to consistently hit jump throws without the need for a jump throw script. Your agent will always make a sound when you hit a jump throw like a little uh, and with a new grenade camera it's very easy to learn how to hit them every time consistently. When your agent doesn't make a sound that means you failed the jump throw. Number 28. You can now hear exactly what type of object is being dropped on the ground whether it be a gun, a bomb, a flash, etc. Just listen to the different sounds. And also now, if the bomb is dropped, it makes a faint beeping sound. That's very nice. Number 29. You can now inspect the Zeus. This really leads me to believe that we are eventually going to get Zeus skins in the future. And also the new Zeus animation is really sick. Number 30. You can now see everyone's agent skins in the lobby, in the match starting screen, in the halftime, and also in the end game screen. Number 31. The new follow recoil option for your crosshair is great for new players because then they kind of learn how the spray patterns in Counter-Strike works. What the follow recoil option does is that your crosshair follows the recoil of your gun. Basically, wherever your crosshair is, that's where the shot is going to land. A very cool new option that I can see being widely used. Number 32. You can now unbind removing the silencer on the M4A1S and the USP. I know my dad and Hunun Gungange are very happy about this change since they accidentally would start unscrewing their silencers while shooting someone. Number 33. All things related to agent skins are better. For example, the live view in the inventory is much nicer and you also now get a nice live portrait of the agent when you're accepting a trade. Of course, also the in-game feet add to the coolness of each agent skin. Number 34, we will now have much higher resolution skins and higher polygon models on the new revamped guns in CS2. The difference in detail is really insane. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with skins in the future. Number 35, mapping and skin making in Counter-Strike 2 is much easier and more user-friendly than the outdated hammer tools for CSGO. So if you like making maps or skins, then CS2 is really something to look forward to. Number 36, you now have a live view of what your game will look like in the settings menu of video options, so you don't have to be in a game and constantly exit the settings menu to see the changes. Number 37, stickers also benefit from the new way of inspecting skins, and now you can finally 
angle them to see exactly what they will look like in any type of lighting. Number 38. Now foil and gold stickers are visibly beveled and actually look foil and 3D because it looks like the sticker is sticking out of the paper, which is really cool. Number 39. In Counter-Strike 2, metal skins actually look like metal being shiny and reflective. Some examples of these are the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco, which looks amazing for a blue. The MAC-10 Gold Brick, which you can clearly see looks like real gold, especially that super reflective back. The P-2000 Silver, which now has a way better shine. And of course, the 5.7 Copper Galaxy, which now is very golden and extremely shiny. Number 40. Player Model Shadows are now way more accurate, making it easier to see someone before they see you. You can also finally see your own shadow, which makes you way more aware of it and adds to the immersion. Number 41. In Counter-Strike 2, all agent skins now have the same hitboxes. Number 42. CS2 comes with VAC improvements along with VAC Live that can cancel a game if it detects a cheater in that game. Thank you Aqua for finding the code and of course Pogu for showing what it looks like in game. Number 43. There's now a slight bass sound like feedback being played whenever you get a kill so you easily know if you got the kill or not. Just listen. That's pretty nice, and now getting a kill feels way cooler. Number 44, bullet holes are now 3D and have depth. For example, if you shoot a wall, you can see that there's a hole into the wall. Same with a glass, the glass now has a sort of depth. And of course, if you shoot metal like this car, you can really see that it looks like real life. Number 45, the new sound ambience is insane. And sounds, for example, echo in echoey locations or are muffled in cramped spaces. Let's listen to the echo. Number 46, we now have different scoping sounds for each scoped weapon leading to more info for other players. Just listen. Number 47, ragdolls are now server-sided. In CSGO, the ragdolls are client-sided, which means for you, a body might be blocking the view, but not for other players. Number 48, the AUG and the SG553 scopes are now bigger and are no longer dirty, which gives you better visibility and quicker target acquirement. Is that a word? Acquirement? I don't know. Number 49, the new blood is way more realistic and kinda gross. And number 50, Animated profile pictures from the Steam store are now animated in-game as well. In your friend list, in the top middle in-game, and even in the end game screen. Everywhere you see a profile picture, it can be animated, which is really cool. And finally, we can't just have positives in this video, I'm going to say one thing that's negative, and that's the fact that in Counter-Strike 2, they still haven't added a flag for Malta yet. I am still angry. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you learned something new about CS2 or maybe your hype for it is building because now you see what's possible and better in CS2 compared to CSGO. Now I'm going to exit this abomination and hop into Counter-Strike 2. Hee-haw, yeet!